everybody, I'm James Yeager with Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. I have a slight speech impediment caused by numbness in my tongue. Doctors are working through it. Please bear with me. So we're gonna shoot some shotguns today. Uh, this one, got some mag pull stuff on this, on this 870. Uh, Surefire light, the XS Sights, plus two magazine extension. XS Sights, big dot on here, big dot on both of these guns. Uh, this is a great setup right here. Uh, this one uh, has got the, uh, needs a Magpul stock, needs a Magpul form or Surefire form. Uh, excess side up front, side saddle. Uh, this is a great gun. We just need to get it kind of modernized with some more Magpul stuff and a Surefire for end and all that. Uh, so we're going to take these guns and shoot them as a team. Most people don't do shotgun training, most of, like tactical training. It's fallen out of favor over the years. And so people aren't, aren't adept at it. So we're gonna do a little bit of it. And we know, we all know that shotgun's range is limited uh, by ammunition and buckshot and slugs and things like that. And this is one of the things that, when I talk about shotguns, I don't want to tighten the group of my buckshot I want it to spread because I'm shooting at 100 yards there's obviously a problem <laughs> and if there's a crowd of people think about that a pellet for each one so uh, th there's a reason they call these riot guns uh, so uh, let's go over to the uh, the range and Lewis and uh, and Brian, we're going to shoot these things as a team, and uh, they, don't hold a lot, they don't hold a lot of bullets, and you can only put one bullet in them at a time, so it's not like changing a mag. So we'll have to see some uh, some folks doing some some fancy loading up here. All right, so we're starting out with a gun that holds six or seven rounds. That's with an extended magazine, and uh, a few jumps to make here, so we know there's going to be some uh, weird loading going on by the end of this. Fight! Contact front! Get moving. Moving! Move! All right, Lewis is shooting off the top side. He's shooting on the left side of the cover. That's a super long stock. He's shooting off the left side. This is where uh, a Magpul stock on the gun would be. Moving! Move! Get moving. So Lewis has got to jam some rounds in there. Take three or four out at a time. Move! Move! Cover! Load, load. Port look, Brian. Moving! Move! Load your gun, Lewis. Load your gun, Lewis. Load your gun, Lewis. The problem is the guys don't want to take the time to load their gun because they think their teammate might be in distress. It seems kind of selfish for me to load my gun while the other guy's port loading. But if not, we just wind up with this endless stream of port loading and never get a gun to its full capacity. Now, you notice the rate of fire is not that bad. He's loading right out of his pocket, port loading, and not really a problem. Get moving. Moving! Get that gun loaded. Top it off. Top it off. This is where like a side saddle or something like that really come in handy. This side saddle that Lewis has got that he's not using. Cover! I'm up! Why not use the side saddle? <laughs>
What do you say? Cover! Okay, ceasefire. Ceasefire. All right, good job, guys. <laughs> Come on up. Oh, I just want to do something real quick here. Hey, give me that. Now hold that on your off shoulder. Oh, yeah. So this stock is so long, shooting off his off shoulder, it was like murder. But having a shorter, whoo, nice and yep. warm. Uh, and having, that, that four in too yeah. versus this? Yeah, all of it. For that off shoulder, I was grabbing just the end of it yeah and that's kind of got yeah. to stop on Th it. listen this is inferior for fighting this this hand guard and this shot this stock inferior get you some of that stuff and, and what's great about the <coughs> the um, magpul stuff is it's attainable it's available it's not that expensive uh but uh but you've got if, you, if you're trying to save your pennies i get it get the stock get the stock hey did you forget there was a side saddle on there or were you saving that um a little bit of both okay like originally i went, we forgot to save it yeah <laughs> I, I went into the pocket at first because i figured if he went down or a cover call i'll mm -hmm. be faster to port load mm -hmm. off of here uh, than digging around in the pocket so i was trying to make do so that's where the brass upper brass down uh comes in because if i'm gonna port load from port load the gun i want the brass up boom in here okay but if i'm going to uh I'll try to top it off i want the brass pointing down the bottom just to kind of be a motion okay. so that's the, but that's the eternal right <laughs> is there anything to worry about uh going brass on bottom of the shells not with a quality carrier okay mm -mm. not with a quality carrier brian what do you think uh you can shove a bunch of shells in your pocket and fight with it make it work yeah if you have to it kind of sucks but but the thing is, man, like you ran out of ammo early. You you did over 50% of your shooting port loading. So g good job on that. Both of you, good job running. It's hard. Like before you start making fun of these guys, go do this drill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Find somebody to do it with, go yeah. do this drill yourself. And this was this was in my way. I realized on, the, on my first hop, I couldn't get it to my off shoulder. Uh-huh. So got out of the sling and that made it a lot easier uh, this really is universal for me if i'm going to fight the slings around my neck not around my arms so if it's a two point i swim out of it that's what they say the word they use i swim out of it. If it's a single point i come out of it just have it around my neck that way it can move around more more flexible uh, that's just me uh what else anything else Hashtag port loaded. Hashtag port load that biatch. So thank you, Brian. Thank you, Lewis. This is James Yeager with Tactical Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.